Number 76. A yolk sac is abnormal when its diameter exceeds A. 2 millimeters. B. 3 millimeters. C. 5 millimeters. D. 6 millimeters. The answer is D. 6 millimeters. 77. Echogenic structure located in the lateral ventricles is A. Hemorrhage. B. Cavum septum pellucidum. C. Cavum vellum interpositum. Or D. Choroid plexus. The answer is D. Choroid plexus. Number 78. The normal lateral ventricle measures A. 1 centimeter. B. 2 centimeters. C. 3 centimeters. Or D. 4 centimeters. The answer is A. 1 centimeter. 79. What is the white arrow pointing to? A. Choroid plexus. B. Cavum septum pellucidum. C. Posterior fossa. D. Third ventricle. The answer is C. Posterior fossa. Number 80. The white arrow is pointing to A. Lamina. B. Vertebral body. C. Spinous process. Or D. Transverse process. The answer is C. Spinous process. Number 81. Closest structure to the spine in a normal four-chamber view. A. Left atrium. B. Right atrium. C. Left ventricle. D. Right ventricle. The answer is A. Left atrium. Number 82. What is shown in this image? A. Polydactyly. C. Clinodactyly. C. Syndactyly. Or D. Normal fetal hand. The answer is D. Normal fetal hand. 83. The blue arrow is pointing to A. Arachnoid cyst. B. Rhombencephalon. C. Mesencephalon. Or D. Prosencephalon. The answer is B. Rhombencephalon. Number 84. What is A? A. Left atrium. B. Right atrium. C. Right ventricle. D. Left ventricle. The answer is B. Right atrium. 85. What is B? Left atrium. B. Right atrium. C. Right ventricle. Or D. Left ventricle. The answer is C. Right ventricle. Number 86. What is C? A. Left atrium. B. Right atrium. C. Right ventricle. Or D. Left ventricle. The answer is D. Left ventricle. Number 87. What is D? A. Left atrium. B. Right atrium. C. Right ventricle. D. Left ventricle. The answer is A, left atrium. Number 88, what is E? A, aorta. B, IVC. C, hepatic vein. Or D, ductus arteriosus. The answer is A, aorta. Number, number 89, what structures are labeled F? A, pulmonary artery. B, pulmonary veins. C. Coronary artery. D. Coronary veins. The answer is B. Pulmonary veins. What structure is labeled G? A. Fossa ovale. B. Foramen ovale. C. Ductus arteriosus. Or D. Ligamentum venosum. The answer is B. Foramen ovale. 91. What separates A from B? A. Mitral valve. B. Tricuspid valve. C. Pulmonary valve. D. Aortic valve. The answer is B. Tricuspid valve. 92. What separates D from C? A. Mitral valve. B. Tricuspid valve. 
C, pulmonary valve, or D, aortic valve? The answer is A, mitral valve. 93, what is shown in this image? A, club foot, B, femur bowing, C, normal cord insertion, or D, omphalocele? The answer is C, normal cord insertion. 94. What findings are in this coronal abdominal view? A. Normal kidneys. B. Polycystic kidneys. C. Multicystic dysplastic kidneys. Or D. Neuroblastoma. The answer is most likely B. Polycystic kidneys. They're enlarged, hyperechoic, and you can see tiny cysts. Number 95. How do you describe this finding? A. Normal cervix. B. Cervical incompetence. C, placenta previa, or D, hydrocolpus? The answer is B, cervical incompetence. Number 96, what can you rule out with this view? A, palpatine syndrome, B, cleft lip, C, nasal bone length, or D, nuchal cord? The answer is B, cleft lip. Number 97, the findings of clover leaf skull, narrow chest, Polyhydramnios and short limbs are indicative of A. Achondroplasia B. Thanatophoric dysplasia C. Osteogenesis imperfecta or D. Achondrogenesis The answer is B. Thanatophoric dysplasia 98. The fetal heart takes up A. One-third of the chest B. Two-thirds of the chest C, half of the chest, or D, one-fourth of the chest? The answer is A, one-third of the chest. 99. You are transverse on the maternal abdomen. The fetal position is A, transverse head maternal right, B, transverse head maternal left, C, breech, or D, oblique. All right, so you are transverse on the uterus, so the left side of the screen is going to be the maternal's right-hand side, and the right side of the screen is going to be the maternal's left-hand side. So this baby is transverse head to the maternal left. Number 100. What are these findings indicative of? A. Hydranencephaly. B. Hydrocele. C. Posterior urethral valves. Or D. Hydronephrosis. The answer is C, posterior urethral valves. This is the keyhole sign of the bladder. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed these reviews. I have already done the abdomen, 100 questions for the abdomen. These are the 100 questions for the OB. Soon I'll be doing the pediatric, vascular, and physics. And perhaps I'll do echo as well. All right, thank you and good luck.